In this video, we'll learn about standard form. Standard form we work with when we've got very large or very small numbers and it helps us with the calculation. So let's have a look at the number 50,000. 50,000, which we can also write as 5 times 10,000. which is the same as saying 5 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is like a short form of that. We call this standard form and this is the ordinary form, the common way of writing numbers. Let's try another one. So if I have 65,000 now, I'm going to write that as 6.5 times 10,000. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 6.5 times 10 to the power of 4. Let's try another one. Okay, so we've got 1,280,000, which we're going to write as 1.28. So that first number that we're multiplying by a multiple of 10, that is always between 1 and 9.9999, so not 10. So this is going to be multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 1 with 6 zeros and we can rewrite this as 1.28 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's try another one. So 7,800, we'll write this as 7.8 because that is larger than 1 and smaller than 10 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3 because that's where the decimal point is going. What if we have 5 billion, for example. So we'll write this as 5 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll try now and do the opposite from standard form to ordinary form. So we've got 4 times 10 to the power of 5. So we'll rewrite the 4 and then we add the number of zeros that the power tells us to. So that would be 5 zeros. So 8.3, that would be multiplied by 10 squared, which is 100. And that means moving the decimal point two places to the right. So there is one and another one that makes it 830. That was a bit too quick. 8.3 times 100 is 830. Looking at this, we've got 5.683 times 10 to the power of 5. So that means moving 5 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
These two were filled with zeros and we moved the decimal point. And that's the answer. 568,300. 9.9 .9 times 10 squared, which is 100. So I'm moving the decimal point two places to the right. So there we go, one and another one, two, and this becomes 990. 4.06 times 10 to the power of 6, so let's rewrite the initial number. So we'll move the decimal point 6 spaces to the right, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Fill these with zeros and move the decimal point. So the answer is 4 million and 60,000. We use standard form when working with very small numbers as well. So if I have 0 0.003, that is the same as saying 3 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So it goes completely in the negative direction. So if I have 0 0.00045, 0 so that number which is between 1 and 10, inclusive of 1 but not inclusive of 10, that is going to be 4.5. So 4.5, so you can imagine the decimal point being here now and we go in one two three four places to the left so that is times 10 to the power of negative 4 because if you compare 4.5 with 0 0.00045 this one is much smaller that's why the negative direction the negative power if we have 0 0.0 to 8, we're going to write this as 2.8 times 10 to the power of 1 to negative 2. 0 0.0000007 is going to be the same as 7 times 10 to the power of negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Why did I start here and not here? Because if it's a whole number, you're assuming that the decimal point is after that number. 0 0.006 we're going to write this as 6.08 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, so negative 3. We'll now look at doing the opposite. So we've got 6 times 10 to the power of negative 7. And we'll write this in ordinary form. So we'll start with a 6. And... We're going to move the decimal point seven places to the left in the negative direction. So we imagine our answer to be much smaller than the six because of the negative power. So as there is no decimal point here, because this is a whole number, we imagine it to be after the actual digit. So we go seven spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is where we put the decimal point. So these ones, we'll fill them with zeros. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
and of course we've got to put a zero in front so it goes 0 0.0000006 now we've got 5.2 we'll move the decimal point three places to the left so we we'll go one two three that's where the decimal point goes and we fill these spaces with zeros so we've got now 0 0.0052 again here now we've got 6.01 so we're moving two places to the left so we go one two and that's where we put the decimal point zero in front fill in the gaps with zeros we've got now 4.834 and we move in five places to the left so we go one two three four five place the decimal point zero in front fill these gaps and this is our answer zero point zero 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 four eight three four now looking at this 1.84 times 10 to the power of 5 so it's a positive power which means we're going to move the decimal point to the right in the positive direction making the number become much larger so 1.84 times 10 to the power of 5 means that we move the decimal point five places to the right so we go one two three four five so filling this in with zeros and of course we move the decimal point so our answer then is 184,000